Alright, so uh, we're going to be replacing the RAM on my Mac Mini. Got 4 gig gigabytes of uh, RAM right here. Uh, the Mini I've been prying across the edges with uh, this here cooking uh, cake knife. Let's see. It's just like a putty knife that they recommend. In, well, not Apple, but the do it yourself is. There goes the knife. Just cut my toe off. Just curious. Just kidding. It's not sharp. It's just a flat piece of metal. Anyway. And the case is off. And we've got a. Here's the back of the unit. Right. We've got this antennas. Whoa. All right, so <laughs> All right, I'm detaching this antenna. There's a piece of tape right here that was attached. I had to take that off. Alright, so after removing the uh, antennas and the springs that are connected to them and uh, putting them someplace safe, of course, I put them inside of a plastic bin. Um, then you've got to remove the four screws. So I read. Um, let's see. Three of them are fairly visible. One, I don't know if you can see this, is back here. And without a flashlight, it's hard to see because it's down in that crevice. So I think you've got to unscrew all four of these to get the uh, assembly off. So let's get the uh, the ribbon off. Comes right out. Good. The antenna was still whoa. That's not good. I'm going to remove the existing RAM from there. These two metal pieces right here you can pull out that way. And uh, the card's going to pop out and you're going to remove it. That's probably your one gig. Alright, so I'm going to take the the new RAM I bought. It's going to come in here at an angle, make sure the notches line up. And, uh, jeez. Push it's fully seated, which it is. Push it down. Alright, so I'll take my other piece, other stick of RAM. So, yeah, there's four gigs. Now, the problem I had earlier is when I took off the assembly, one of the antennas came off. So, I've got to figure out how to uh, reattach this. So, this could take a second. There we go. Not too bad. You just had to twirl it around a bit, and then you'll hear a snapping sound if you accidentally knock off one of the antennas, so that's that. And then let's take the uh, top attachment and let's put this back on. 
Now, the hard drive is also under here. If uh, I want to replace that. Let's make sure I don't pinch anything. Um, you know, especially make sure up here where the uh, slot fits back in. And then I guess then reattach the, uh, the ribbon. And just push it back on. Yeah, snaps back. I left the screws in the assembly uh, when it came down. Of course, a few came out. Uh, the one one came out, so that could be a little risky. Uh, probably also not the best practice. You probably want to take them out and then put them back in. I'm just lazy, so I left the screws in. All right, so all the screws should be in. And we take the uh, springs and uh, put them back on. So we want to squeeze to get yeah, not too hard, just squeeze the two put it back on there spring here another spring here and it was just Snap back in and push down on them. Right. And I guess the true test would be to plug it in before you put the casing back on it because, to be honest, taking the case off is the hardest part of uh, swapping out RAM. So let's give that a shot. Anyway, after that, I guess you just put the case back on and you know you're done. And hope for the best. And, you know, so there you have it. Mac Mini with uh, 4 gigs of RAM in it.